The stage is set and the prospect mouth-watering. Two teams at the peak of their powers, ready for a battle royal, serving as a true gauge of their ability to perform under pressure. Only one team can come out on top. Who will it be? Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live from London, here on EA TV. Ideal weather, no complaints on that front, here in North London at the Emirates Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and West Ham player Stuart Robson. And very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It's Arsenal, and they take on Fulham. Thanks, Derek, as always. This should be a good game. Great atmosphere inside the stadium. We've got two teams full of quality, some interesting matchups, and two coaches that want to play an attractive brand of football. What more could you ask for? And a look at the starting lineup for Arsenal. Declan Rice starts alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And they line up with just the one striker looking to do a bit of damage. And a precise challenge just when it was required. Declan Rice. This is the lineup for the visitors today. Well, the wingers will be key here. They have to choose the right time to give width and the right time to come infield to support the centre forward. If they can do that, they're a potent front three. No doubt about that. Well, opposing defences always have to pay attention when Arsenal provide the opposition. I say that, Stuart, based on their wonderful goal-scoring record. Well, in attack, they've been so fluid at home. They just know exactly where the next pass should be going. They've got such a great understanding of the game plan and a lot of credit has to go to the coaching staff. Well, we can give them high marks for their passing, but can they make this pressure count? I think I spoke too soon. Wasn't the best of passes, finally. High pressing at its best. Now sliding in field. Havertz! And a strong glove on the ball from the keeper. Timothy Castagna. Palinha. Now with Wilson. Moving it forward. Pereira. And with that, they thwarted the opportunity. Havertz. And danger averted. Well read. He's very adept at protecting the ball. And they need to get tighter here. This could be troublesome. But they had a bit of work to do in getting to that through ball, the goalkeeper. Jorginho. Effective work from Arsenal to regain possession. Rice and back with Trossard well he got the touch on the ball and so a corner it'll be And taken short. Ball retention so important. Oh, keeper dealt with it. Elects to go short. 
Martin Erdegaard. Oh, great defending. What was the chance they could get caught out on the break here? There will be one minute added on at the end. And that is going to be all for the first half. Level pegging here, as far as Arsenal are concerned. Interested to get your take. Well, after giving their attacking play the big build-up, they've let us down. They haven't quite been as fluid, the strikers haven't got the better of their markers, and they've just missed a couple of chances. But I'm still sure they'll score goals in the second half. And so the second half gets underway. Almost a case of the two teams saying to each other, whatever you can do, I can do just as well. Real determination in the challenge. A throw in here. So a personnel change then. Robinson. Now with Jorginho. Declan Rice. Well, it looked highly promising, but they got nothing out of it. Bukayo Saka. Ben White. He's taken on his opponent here. And moving the ball nicely. Rice. On to Trossard. Can they forge ahead? Can they stop it going in? Well, they can't quite take advantage in the end. And does well to keep it in play. It will be. Happy birthday to the coolest football player, Bodie Jeffries. Well, nothing to split the two sides, but this move looks promising. Jorginho. Bukayo Saka. And Havertz. Ben White. Jorginho. Really is a lovely example of how to pass the ball. Rice could be it's a perfect challenge physically strong and secure on the ball and a lot to like about this attack and let's give credit to the defending just 20 minutes remaining now White Martin Odegaard. Now with Jorginho. Ben White. Jorginho. Very alert defending to cut off the supply. Out of play and an Arsenal throw in forthcoming. And it is substitution time at this juncture, not just from one side, but from both. Number 11, Gabriel Martinelli. And number 5, Thomas Partey. Martin Odegaard. And it's still on. Chance to take the lead. Oh, a vital piece of last-ditch defending. Ten minutes to go. Well, the fans are making so much noise here. They believe the winner's coming, but it needs a moment of inspiration for one of those players out on the pitch. What a finale we've got. Inside the last five minutes, and nil-nil is still the situation. Partey. White, possession one.
Martinelli. And with the teams locked together, Arsenal chasing and chasing that winner. Well, there to intercept. And the electronic board showing one additional minute. Martin Odegaard. And there's the whistle, all even at the end of 90 minutes here. And now it is all about the penalty shootout. Oh, a superb save. Job done from the spot. And up he comes, doing his best to remain focused. Superb placement there. And confidently converted. Can he get the better of the keeper? So lethal in front of goal. And the keeper makes the all-important save. What a big moment. And he finds the net he could hardly miss. Composure is so important under these trying circumstances. He had to score, and he does. Well, he fired it straight down the middle. Such high levels of pressure. He must score to keep his side in it. And the penalty converted here. Can he keep us cool? And he scores! And slotted home right into the bottom corner. Excellent penalty. And the keeper denies them from the spot. A goal now, and his team will prevail. He's gambled on direction and won. Oh, brilliant goalkeeping. It comes down to this, a goal, and they win the game. A mountain of pressure on him, but he withstands the test, and they've gone and won it. Well, cool, composed, and really good technique. A match-winning penalty, and probably deserved over the course of the game.